Dear colleagues, my name is Dr. Rakesh Gopinath Nair. I'm a cardiac electrophysiologist at the Kansas City Heart Rhythm Institute in Kansas City, Kansas. I'm a fellow of the American College of Cardiology and a member of the ACC Electrophysiology Leadership Council. As you're all aware, September is Atrial Fibrillation Awareness Month, and I'm going to be talking to you about the role of wearable devices for monitoring in atrial fibrillation. So why do you need to monitor for atrial fibrillation? There are two reasons. One is that when you have symptoms such as palpitations, heart racing, dizziness, fatigue, etc., you may want to know if you have atrial fibrillation. The other is to monitor for atrial fibrillation recurrence after you're on treatment for atrial fibrillation, such as antiarrhythmic drugs or ablation, you want to know if you have recurrence so that appropriate treatment can be done as well as to decide on whether blood thinners and other medications can be stopped. Sometimes after a procedure or drugs, you may have symptoms that may not be atrial fibrillation. So it's important to understand whether you're having symptoms due to extra beats or due to slow heart rate so that that can be addressed as well. So what are the available wearable as well as implantable monitors that can detect atrial fibrillation? The ones that are available to the general public include smart watches such as those from Apple, Fitbit, Samsung and other manufacturers. The other is uh, the Cardia Mobile from Alive Core that can give you a single lead ECG. Both smart watches and the Cardia Mobile can give you a single lead on-demand ECG. The watches also have the additional advantage of telling you or notifying you if your pulse is irregular or too fast. So those are what these devices can do. The physician prescribed monitoring including external monitors such as patch monitors that can detect your heart rhythm for a period of time from one week to two weeks up to a month and then there are longer term monitoring using implantable loop recorders. These are tiny devices that can be injected under your skin in the chest region that can provide continuous monitoring and these devices can last uh, up to three to five years with the current models. The Let's say if you have a symptom and you have a smartwatch or a wearable device like a Cardia Mobile, you could get a quick EKG to ascertain what rhythm you have and you also have the capability to store that EKG and send it to your um, primary care doctor or cardiologist uh, using an uh, app where you can store these um, ECGs. So these actually are helpful for the physician in determining what type of rhythm that you had. And these wearable devices are really important to not only to understand the rhythm that is causing the symptom, but also to periodically check for any recurrence of atrial fibrillation if you have had a procedure or you're on medical therapy for atrial fibrillation. The last topic I was going to talk about is what are the pros and cons of using commercially available wearable devices such as smartwatches or the Cardia mobile device. The one important aspect is to make sure that the de what the device tells you is accurate. There has been concerns about accuracy mm, about these devices. The Apple Heart Study, which uh, enrolled almost 420,000 participants mm, to detect irregular heart rhythm mm, using a, what we, a technology called PPG, where it looks at irregularity of your pulse. The patients, the, the participants who were notified this way, mm, were given an external monitor to review or confirm their rhythm and only 34% of those notified mm, had atrial fibrillation. So there is a concern regarding accuracy and whenever there is suspicion, this, the, the, the information from the device should be 
confirmed using other type of external monitoring um, or other um, testing such as ECG um, or a holter. The second issue is uh, these are becoming very popular and uh, how to integrate the uh, data from these wearable smartwatches and um, uh, other devices into the mainstream healthcare system uh, is something that we still need to work out in terms of workflow, uh, how the data needs to be processed, and the medical legal as well as um, the regulatory aspects of it. Regardless, I think uh, that the wearable devices is an important and emerging frontier in the detection and management of heart rhythm disorders such as atrial fibrillation and will continue to be continue to gain in popularity uh, and uh, with technological advances the accuracy and uh, uh, other issues that we currently have will continue to improve thank you